Once upon a time, the story happened in a faraway kingdom in Offland, which was ruled by a king and his wife. They had a handsome little prince named Ethan. One day, the king went to the woods to go hunting. Unfortunately, he got lost in the forest. Suddenly, he met an old woman who was an evil witch named Isla. Your Majesty, I can help you get home immediately. In return, you have to give me the first thing that you will touch when you're home. A year later, I will go to the palace to take it. Why do I have to agree with you? I will find a way to get back by myself. Just think again. It's already dark, and this wood is very dangerous. How could you leave here easily? That price was too cheap to save your life. Maybe she's right. When I return, I will wear a warm coat, which is the first thing I'll touch. I can trade numerous coats like that without hesitation. Hmm. Okay, I agree with you. Get me out of here. Isla grinned. She swung her wand. Immediately, the king found himself at the palace. However, the prince Ethan suddenly rushed to hug him tight at his utter shock. The king nervously told his wife what he had promised to the witch. They discussed for so long until the queen came up with an idea. They decided to swap Ethan for an orphan girl named Scarlet and let a loyal farmer's family raise him. One year later, the witch Isla appeared to ask the king to keep the promise. Believing that the girl was the king's princess, she took her away. Since the king was scared that Isla could know the truth, he still let Ethan live with his adoptive parents and secretly gave them a lot of possession in return. Over the years, Ethan grew up and became a brave and kind young man. One day, the king and queen decided to tell him the whole truth. Ethan, you are our only prince who will be the heir to the throne. We have to switch you for a girl named Scarlet to protect you from the evil witch Isla. Mm. Huh? Poor Scarlet. She has to go through all the hardship for me. If I don't pay her favor, I can't be a good king. I have to escape her from the evil witch. Ethan determined to go to rescue Scarlet. He asked his father about the forest in which he used to lost, and also about the figure of the witch Isla. This is the witch Isla. I've also regretted for putting Scarlet in danger. I hope you can save her and help me make amends. Then, chivalrous prince carried a bag of beans to go into the woods until he got lost. Huh? He also met an old woman and realized she looked huh? just like Isla. <laughs> Ethan was appalled to see the witch Isla coming. Isla looked at Ethan surprisingly as well. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm looking for a job to earn my living. Unfortunately, I've got lost in this forest. Well, it's a little bit sudden, but would you like to hire me for any work? Oh, such a young man. I really need to hire someone, but my housework is very exhausting. If you don't work well, you will be punished. Great! Please accept me. I'm so strong that I can do everything, no matter how difficult it is. Such a fool. He doesn't know I'm a witch and still heads on. <laughs> if he doesn't finish his work, I can do anything I want to him, such as capturing his soul, petrifying him, or using him as a sacrifice. Okay, I'll hire you. But remember, do exactly what I told you. If I don't ask you, you mustn't say anything. <laughs> Along the way, Ethan obeyed her and didn't speak even a word. Isla was very content, but she didn't know that Ethan was secretly sprinkling beans on the ground to mark the way. 
When they came to a large rock, Isla chanted the spell and stomped the ground three times. Astonishingly, the rock shifted to the one side to open a secret tunnel. Ethan was so stunned, but there was enough time for him to memorize the spell. Follow me. Remember to obey my orders at all costs, or you will get into trouble. Isla led Ethan through the dark tunnel. When he went outside, Ethan was amazed at the witch's splendid house in the deep wood. There was a filthy stable in the yard. A pretty white horse was grazing. Pampered by Isla, it was very naughty and misbehaved. Phineas, my lovely horse, I'm back with you. Isla was used to its misbehavior, so she didn't get angry at all. Come on, give it to me, Phineas. You can't play with it. Inside the house, there was a beautiful and young maid waiting. Then she silently mm -hmm. bowed to the witch. That girl was Scarlet, who had become a beautiful and intelligent girl. She is so beautiful. Whether or not she's the Scarlet I'm looking for. As the food was laid, Isla sat down to eat dinner alone. Ethan was very curious. He silently gazed at Scarlet. Now it's time for you to clear the table and keep the leftovers for your dinner. While eating, the prince gazed at Scarlet passionately. He couldn't mm. help speaking up many times, but she secretly reminded him of the witch's rules. <gasps> you can rest tonight and start working tomorrow. She will show you where to sleep. Scarlet led Ethan to the sleeping room. He wanted to talk again, but she promptly stopped just at the moment when the witch came to check. Then Scarlet left sadly. I believe that you're the Scarlet I'm searching for. You're so beautiful and warm-hearted, not like a witch at all. The next morning, Ethan eagerly came to see the maid. He silently helped her chop the wood and do housework. Scarlet was so surprised, she gently <laughs> nodded to him thankfully. Hmm. Today, you have to cut off enough grass to feed the horses all day, and then clean the stables for me. If you don't finish your work before I come back, you'll have to pay for it. <laughs> Mowing the grass and cleaning the stable is no big deal for me. What's the duty she gave you? Don't worry, it's just mowing the grass and clearing the stables. So easy. Her bizarre horse has a bottomless stomach, so he'll never be full. Therefore, you can't clean the stable. Huh? What should I do then? You huh? should do this, like this. <laughs> Ethan did exactly what Scarlet said. After cutting the grass to fulfill the manger, he braided a rope and made a huge wooden stake, which really surprised the horse. Hey, boy! Why are you doing that? If you eat too much, I'll tie your mouth up. If you dare to dirty the whole stable, I'll tie you to this wooden stake. Phineas was so frightened, it knew that he was a difficult breeder, and it had to obey his order. After that, Ethan began to clean the stable. When he reached the corner, he discovered a strange, sparkling pearl lying under the dirt and litter. Such a beautiful pearl! What's it used for? <laughs> when Isla returned, she found that the manger was still full of grass and the stable had been cleared. She was very surprised. Hmm. How could you? Has anyone shown you the way to do it? Ma'am, I've just done it by myself. Good. Tomorrow, bring here a huge pile of straw from the meadow. If there is even a straw left, misfortune will come to you. Bring this pile of straw back home? It's really simple. <laughs> huh? What has she just asked you to do? Don't worry, just move the pile of straw huh? home. It's not that easy. As soon as you transfer the straw to your wheelbarrow, they will grow from the ground again, and you can never accomplish it alone. What should I do? Don't worry. Huh? You do as I say. The next day, Ethan took Phineas out to the meadow early. He did exactly what Scarlet said. Tying the horse to the rope which tied the stack of straw, Ethan sat on it and began to count. 
One, two, three. What are you doing? I'm counting the number of wolves hiding in the woods. Four, five, six? Well, how populous. Hearing that, Phineas got panicked. He tried to run away, which pulled a pile of straw together with Ethan sitting on it. Being uprooted, the straw could no longer grow up again. The witch Isla was appalled at the barren land, <laughs> while Ethan joyfully stood beside her. You can't do it alone. Who helped you? Ma'am, I've just done it by myself. In this house, there is only Scarlet who can help him. Well, exactly her. Are they two going to backstab me? Well done. You did a very good job. Later on, come see me with that maid. You two look so good together that I want to be the matchmaker. <laughs> How dare you go back to my words. I will destroy you. Oh no, she found out that I was trying to help you, so she wants to kill us. We have to run away now. That night, they ran away together. Thanks to the beans that Ethan had spread along the road, they could find a way to escape. Seeing that no one came back, Isla used her magical orb and knew Ethan and Scarlet had run away. Because of her magic, she caught up to them so quickly. You two rats, I've got you now. Scarlet, be careful! Ethan rushed to protect Scarlet. The flash hit Ethan. He screamed and then collapsed. Ethan! Ethan! How are you? How strange! I got hit by her, but nothing happened to me. When they were surprised, the pearl fell from Ethan's body, rolled to the ground, and flashed. Why can you take it? Huh? I found it from huh? inside the stable. It is the huh? precious pearl that she always carries with her. It represents her strength. <laughs> it turned out that one time when Isla was careless, Phineas stole her pearl. Why are you still huh? all right after my attack? <gasps> my pearl! How could you have it? Give it back to me right now! Dear precious pearl, shut the witch Isla down for me! Be like that! Let me out! Ethan and Scarlet buried the pearl, then kept following the beanstalks and reached the rock. Ethan opened it with a spell learned from the witch. Together, they crossed the cave and returned to the kingdom. Through many ups and downs, they fell deeply in love with each other. Ethan realized that she was Scarlet and told her the whole story in the past. Yet, I thought the witch picked me up since I was a kid. I love you, Scarlet, and I promise to make up for you because of what you had to sacrifice for me. Ethan and Scarlet's wedding ceremony <laughs> solemnly took place in the palace. The couple who had been switched had lived happily for all the rest of their life. <laughs>